Okay, well, um, today is uh, day six, and I am going to show you how I changed my my tongue string and let me get on my stuff here. I got peroxide, alcohol, mouthwash, q tips, tweezers to pick my scab. Um I've been using this uh a yarn needle. It's a metal yarn needle. That's what I started by getting it in there to begin with through my tongue ring hole. That's how I like string it in and it's also how I pick it out of the crack so I can cut it and get a new one in. But I don't think I'll have to um, do much digging in it today because I actually let it get really really loose. Mm. That's my knot. Um, it's so loose I can actually like just move it around now. So it's like really crazy and we're getting there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean off my needle so that I can pick it up out of there. And then I don't really have any tight scissors that are really little. So I've been using these clippers to just snip it. So I'm going to rinse those off. I've got like 2,000 pairs of fingernail clippers in this house. So this one is just reserved for my mouth right now. <laughs> Alrighty. So you guys are about to watch this. Hmm. Got it. So, I clipped it right by the knot, and that's how big around it is right now. Cool. Now I'm going to clean my mouth. Get the peroxide in there. Who else thinks peroxide tastes like cum? It's gross. And you will drool a lot. I, I can stick the Q-tip like in between the tips now. <laughs> Brush my teeth. The whole shebang. Yeah, it's nasty. <laughs> and like, it kind of makes me shake because um, it's just constant, constant, constant pain.
<laughs> I almost lost it. Now, mouthwash. <laughs> Look, I can almost pull my ring all the way through. It gets a little tight right in the middle. In. I'm going to tighten it this time. Mm. Okay. Ooh, mama. <laughs> I'm going to earn this shit. It's going to be mine. Right, so it's in the, in the yarn needle. The yarn needle is not like it's pointy but it's not sharp, it's rounded so it don't hurt. Okay. Uh -huh. nah. It's gotten much easier. I like to tie the knot underneath, but I don't really think it matters because I tend to just move it around after it loosens up anyways. <laughs> And I tie it three times. And try not to wrap it around my tongue right while I'm at it. Can you tell I'm shaking? <laughs> now, um, now I'm done basically. I'll leave a little tail. And I'm done till tomorrow. How do you like that? I can't even hold it still because it hurts. But yeah, that's it. Day six. We're about halfway through. Um, the uh, the goal will be to try to keep my tongue ring in the whole time. That way it's got like a base and doesn't try to grow closed forward. Um, now I need to take some Advil and drink a beer. day 
9 of splitting my tongue with the tie-off method. Here it is. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself and it's almost done. I gotta clean it a lot and I pick the scab out of the middle a lot and I'm drinking a lot of tequila. Ah, peace be with you, body modifiers. <laughs> So hey, today is day 11. We're not done yet, but we're getting real close. My tongue is starting to look like a vagina. I had to put a bigger, a bigger ring in so it wouldn't just fall out no more. But my bigger one is almost through now. <laughs> so there it is. <laughs> Hiya. Here's my kitty. Wow. <laughs> Hi. So... Today's day 13, and I've been working on my tongue being split. It's going really well, better than I thought it was going to go, actually, because there's not really too many resources, and the resources I did find just say, do this, and it shall happen, and um, so I did it, and I'm still working on it. Um, Here's my kitties. <laughs> he wanted a hug. But, um, here's my tongue right now. I had to, um, put a bigger ball in, or a bigger ring in, obviously, so that it didn't fall through no more. And now this one's almost falling through. Look at this guy. Isn't he such a lush? Look at him. Oh, mommy. Mommy. <laughs> He's my firstborn, but um, oh, there he goes. Um, I have decided to not use fishing line. I um, everybody I talked to said to use fishing line, and I don't really like that idea because it's clear, and then I won't be able to see it when I go to like remove it and cut it and stuff. So I've been using um dental floss. I just ran out today. Um, and see, I should have um. I should have seen how much I had left before I took my last one out, but it had, I had just enough to retie it again. And it's going faster and faster the further it gets, and it doesn't even really hurt anymore. It just feels tight. Um, once it got past the tip, where the, the tip is where all of the um, the nerve endings and stuff are, so that was the most painful. The first few days, that was the most painful. Um, but now it really doesn't even bother me. I'm lisping a little bit because of this gigantic ring in my mouth. Eh, eh. <laughs> um, and I'm not used to having such a massive ring in my mouth now. Um, I used to just use like um, the top ball of like a belly button ring and put two of those on my tongue ring, and it was way cooler. Um, but now I feel like I got like a whole like uh, uh, it feels retarded right now. Um, but hopefully it will be just falling out on its own soon. So I've been using dental floss and I don't see why that would not be a good thing to use, you know, um, because it's, it's got like the fabric on it. So it makes it so I can tie it and pull it tighter. And, um, I can see it when I go to cut it, which is the most important. Um, if I was using fishling line, I think it would be really difficult to uh, cut it, I think, um, but it's going really well. I changed it this morning. Um, morning time, I think, is the best time to change it because after I've been sleeping, like, the scab wants to, like, find its way over the string again, and I have to, like, 
peel it off but peeling the scab off is really really easy actually it doesn't hurt as much as you'd think um i thought i was going to be using the tweezers mostly but um actually if i just put some peroxide on a q-tip and then rub the q-tip around the crack poor wireless connection i rubbed the the uh, q-tip with the peroxide around the crack and it just wipes right off and it's okay um the back of it always wants to try to co close up more like where my ring is so that's why i change it in the morning to make sure i like slice right through that scab um but uh yeah i'm waiting for it to just hurry up I'm, um since i changed it this morning it swelled up a little bit and then cut down and now it's loose again and i'm ready to change it but i gotta wait till somebody brings me some more dental floss see watch Shitty ass connection. <laughs> but yeah, it's almost done. And I'm already like practicing trying to like move it around and stuff. One side I got going really good, the other side's kind of freaky. But I really like it, and it's really fun to play with. I noticed that when I went to um, lick my um, the, the the top of my yogurt, it leaves a stripe. <laughs> I can't. I have to like lick it sideways now if I'm gonna get all of the yogurt off my yogurt lid. <laughs> um, but yeah, that white part um, is not an infection. That white part's a mouth scab. You know how mouth scabs get, like, white? I don't know why. Question. What's up? I'm just kind of learning as I go because there's not really a whole lot of resources out there. The people I saw doing this already were just like, oh, this is what you do. And then it happens. And so I'm just like, all right, I'll do that. You know, how bad can it be? Um, but I really like it. It barely, barely, barely hurts. It just feels tight. Um... So, you know, mm. and it's not done yet, though. I got maybe another week at the most, depending on how, um, how tight I pull it, but I actually now that it's getting to that point where it's like almost done i really have to like pull with my muscles like i have to yank it like i have to put elbow grease into it now because like i barely feel it when i put a new one on anymore it's weird i thought it was gonna feel like hell this whole time but it's really just the real hell was the first couple of days and when i when i got to the point where i could hold a q-tip in the pain right now is only like a four a four out of ten and it's only when i'm fucking with it and pulling on it and stuff because i'm I'm constantly like moving the loop around and stuff because it's already loosened up and i'm yanking on it and i'm always pulling on my my tongue ring mm. Yeah, but the loop, when I cut it off, the loop is smaller around than my pinky is. So it's, like, really, really, really getting there. It doesn't even hurt anymore, so I'm starting to, like, um, just think about cutting it. I don't know. But it's getting to a point where it's just getting annoying. I, I want it done. Mm, it's so close. Mm. it's so cool <laughs> yeah today so yeah today's only day 13 and i thought it was gonna take like eight weeks maybe i just went a little harder than normal people go but yeah i'm getting annoyed because it's like paper thin like, you can see the string in it it's just like paper thin 
And I'm getting just annoyed with having to, like, fuck with it every day now. And I just want it done. Mm. Look at the tip. Look at the tip. <laughs> Isn't it cool? <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm going to stop uh, grossing everybody out and just kind of end this now, I guess. I don't know. Happy 420. My tongue finally split. Look. Uh, ah! <laughs> See the little round spot? That's where it was tied today. I'm spitting a little bit because it's still a little bit swole. We were watching sci-fi movies, and I got all intense and started, like, yanking on my ring and, like, flipping it around and all this crazy stuff. And then suddenly, it fell out. And I thought that my ring just, like, fell out of the hole, like, through the bottom like it had been all day. Nope. My ring, it, it's got the tie on it still. I feel like, I feel like a mother whose child just lost their first baby tooth, and I want to keep it forever now, <laughs> because it's, it's done, it's all done, see, see? I can't believe it's done. It took 15 days. 15. 15. You know why that's fucked up for me? Because that's a special... There's a, a 15. That's a backwards 15. You see it probably. 15. It's a special number. 15 days. It's still a little swole. But look, if, if you look in the middle, it looks kind of like a jelly donut because that's where it was tied today. But I still have all my movement, and I can taste, and I can still talk, except for it's kind of mad at me and a little swollen for everything I've been doing to it for the last few, like, almost, yeah, two weeks, 15 days, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. It feels so much better. Boost Mobile. Boost Mobile, look at my mouth. Mmm. Mm. Obviously that white part's just like mouth scab, you know? Mouth scab, normal. But, holy fuck. Holy fuck. I pulled on it when we were watching movies and it's just like, it's right here. That's my tie. 
You see where that red part is? That's what I wrapped it around today. That's the red spot you see in my mouth. Right there. That's that thing. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't just cut it yesterday like I was telling myself to. Like, I'm such a pussy. What the fuck? I feel kind of like Wonder Woman, but kind of like a pussy at the same time. Seriously. But look at my face. Mm. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. Now should I do like a challenge or something and like, like, like challenge someone else to do it next or like somebody like that? Tongue ring, tongue split challenge. Hey. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> Sometimes you come face to face with yourself.